Uh, I, you know, we got a team that just won't quit until until there's zero uh, zero time left on the clock. You know, uh, we've been faced with two situations the past two weeks and now three weeks where we trail. Um, so we, we just kept fighting. You know, it's you know that's what I mean. We keep fighting, keep fighting, and it just didn't go our way. Um, you know, I think I don't think everyone, no one gave up. Um, we just kept you know going about doing our thing. You know, obviously we had to throw the ball out more. Uh, doing it when we're behind, just got to kind of air it out. You know, our receivers made some great plays, offensive line protected well. But, but credit Montana State, they're a great physical uh, football team, probably the most physical team we'll play all year. State will come out with some six foot, six two corners. So they, they've got some size on the perimeter and some big guys on the inside. You're born amazing, and at Baptist Health, we want to keep you that way. In fact, that's our mission, to not only provide the most skilled doctors and nurses to heal you from sickness or injury, and comprehensive care to support your recovery, but also to be your guide to health. Also, you can keep on inspiring, keep on reaching, and keep on amazing. See some of Baptist Health's amazing stories at keeponamazing.com. Uh, came off big win, uh, game-winning drive in the final minutes for Tennessee Martin. Uh, kind of attack practice with a, a lot of uh, enthusiasm. I know we got to start faster than we did versus Tennessee Martin. I knew we had a big trip ahead of us. Uh, Montana State's always a good FCS program, uh, one of the top-tier programs in the nation. And uh, we came up here uh, looking for a big win, looking to play against some really good competition. This is the, our first week versus a four-man front. Uh, there's some big guys. Uh, really sound, lots of effort, really good up front, but I think we uh, have a good handle on them. Defense definitely going to be stopping the run this game. They have a quarterback that's really good, runs really well. 
Uh, they also have a running back that got knocked out at Arkansas State, but he's back now and he's pretty good. So that's the main thing our focus on this whole week was stopping the runs. So that's part of our main thing we got to do to win this game is stop the run. Hi, can I help you? Uh, I'm looking for a phone plan. It has to be a great one and I don't compromise. Okay, how about 10 gigs of data to share, unlimited talk and text, and you can choose from two to 10 lines. Wow, sounds like a great deal. So I'm getting exactly what I want then. Appears so. Now, um, I'm not too sure what to do with my arms right now because this is where I usually start throwing things. Oh, that's terrifying. AT&T's best ever pricing, two to 10 lines, 10 gigs of truly shareable data, unlimited talk and text, starting at $130 a month. About 28 hours from Kingwood, Texas. Come see the Bears. I go Bears. Absolutely. I got to support my son and UCA. Absolutely. Yeah, we love the Bears. Every game. Yeah, every other game I'll have my RV and we'll be tailgating every game. Yeah. Oh, I love it. It's a great place, great stadium. The people are great as far as nice. I mean, it's just great. Absolutely. The fans were nice, uh, great hospitality. I mean, they wanted us to tailgate with them, which is great. I think it's amazing. I think we just need to, defensively, if we can be stiff on the pass, I think we'll be good. We just got to have some defense. I think we're going to score. I think we can score. We just need some defense. You know, we've got a really good team. I can't say if we've got the best team that's still yet to be determined, but we have got a really good, solid team. We've got great fans. We've got great coaches. We're playing in the best state in the union. We'll be playing on a beautiful afternoon. I feel real good about this football game. The tailgates are awesome. The fans are awesome. The team is awesome. The way this program has really advanced in the past couple of years, and uh, everything's just kind of coming up to a higher level. It's it's gotten so good in the past couple of years. It's been fantastic. I know that they are a very good team from a very good conference. I know they're fast. They gave Texas Tech their all. And uh, they've got the ugliest field in college football. I'm sorry, but <laughs> hey, that purple and gray, that's, it's, it's, yeah. But, you know, way to go for trying to do something different. We could not have a more spectacular setting for football. We are surrounded by mountains in scenic Bozeman, Montana. Throw in great football weather and a quality a of top 20 opponent in Montana this. State. And we have the makings for what's going to be another entertaining evening uh, or af late afternoon of UCA football. Steve Sullivan, pleasure to be alongside Justin Acri and Monty Rowell. And uh, this has the feelings and the matchup of an early FCS playoff game. And we can see the fans pouring in, Monty. We're going to have one incredible atmosphere for football tonight here in Montana. Now, hey. Guy, remember the things we talked about. Let's start fast. Start fast. Let's jump on them from the first play all the way through the last play. Today is a chance for you to be somebody special. Today is a chance for you to make the play that gets everybody. And when somebody makes that play, I want to see all out. I don't want to see him running off by himself. I want to see all of his teammates jumping up and down on him. Guys, that enthusiasm is contagious. It's contagious. Momentum is contagious. Get the momentum going. Yeah, we're going to have a great football team. We're going to have a great football team. Start it today. Start it today. Get the ball rolling today. Hit them suckers in the throat. Set the tempo. Mark Davis, biggest play of the game. You in on it, brother. You in on it. Let's go, Mike. Let's go, Mike. Keep up, keep up, running. Let's go now. Let's go, Mike. Pistol formation, first and 10, Montana State just underway. They empty the backfield. Now Johnson returns the backfield, gets the handoff, trying to sweep. Amari Wallace had him in the backfield, couldn't corral him. Across the 30, now he doubles back and fakes the handoff, and he's jacked. Oh, Bailey McIver leveled him, blitzing at the from the left side, was untouched, and down he goes. They're going to give him a good spot at the 27-yard line. Oh Disguise the blitz, and... Crew Cup had no idea he was coming. I know, and he may not have any idea where he is right now. That was helmet to helmet. He's going out. Sully, he took a shot right there on third down and seven from the 29-yard line. Taylor, he drops. Pressure's on. Willie Matthews open in the flat. Gets it 25-35. Out of the 40. 45. Midfield. Breaking tackles. 40-35-34. What a game. Taylor Reed saw the blitz and just flipped it in the flat to Willie Matthews, who was wide open, and it's a huge gain. What a great job by Taylor Reed. Got a defender right in his face, got rid of the ball as soon as he Unblocked. turned around. Yeah, it was incredible. Guy came clean, and 
Taylor, very heady play, knew where he was going to find his back, and a great job. Matthews set to the left of Taylor Reed on second and nine. Here comes the blitz. Reed, sideline. Matthews, good catch at the 20, all the way down to the 17-yard line. What a nice catch by Willie Matthews. They're going to spot it at the 16. And it's first and 10 for the Bobcats from the 20. Sweeping left side, it's Johnson. Bears have him bottled up, tries to turn it outside. He loses more yardage. Four Bears are there, led by Blake Childress, D.J. Holland. Pistol formation. Prue Cup to throw. Looking right. Pumps it over the middle. Tipped in. Did he get intercepted? Wellmaker diving. No. Oh. George Odom. Through to yeah. Salanoa. George Odom got in there made the initial breakup. Looked like he was going to pick yeah. it. Wellmaker almost dove in there and got there at midfield on the way well, through into traffic. And it's going to hit at the 45. Takes the UCA bounce. 35. Johnson's going to field it at the 25. And he's run down at the 26. George Look. Odom. Great play. Second down, six yards to go for Prue Cup and the Bobcats. Quick toss right side. Catch is made right there to make the stop. It's the Prince. It's a loss of four back to the 25-yard line. Second down and seven. Three receivers stacked to the right. One receiver to the left. Bears have it on the 38, trailing 16 to nothing. Howard straight back, has time, now scoots to his left, throws on the run, wide open, catches made at the 15, Des Smith, 10, bounces off a hit, goes into the end zone, touchdown, UCA. What a play by Des Smith. And what a great job by Ryan Howard. He bought himself some time. Protection was good, but he bounced out of the pocket just to be safe, rolled to his left, and the lefty delivers it on the money. Desmond Smith goes up, makes a catch, bounces off the defender, and fights his way into the end zone. What a great play and there are receivers getting some space out there it's just a matter of buying him time pistol formation johnson to the left of pru cup johnson sweeping right bailey mciver caved in the play and dj holland made the stop montana state has it at the bear 37 yard line gib goes up the middle and forget it bears are all over it defensively and leading the way is Cardell Best on second down. 3.06 to play here in the first half on second and six. There's a hole for Matthews into the secondary. Picks up the first down out at the 35-yard line. Well, Coach, uh, kind of on the rope right now to try to get something going, I guess. Yeah, we got to get something going. Uh, you know, we did, didn't play well uh, in the first half, so we really got to get it going in the second half. Last week we were in the same situation. It was... Uh, 21 to 7, 23 to 6, similar deal. What do you do to contain their quarterback? You know, we need to tackle better. Uh, we need to tackle. Uh, we, we're getting them in third and long. We just can't get off the field on third and long. You you rush him and uh, he breaks contain, and then you drop back and cover, and he pulls it down and runs. So uh, we just need to tackle better, stay at home, keep our eyes on the quarterback better. You know, any cowboy worth his salt has a great hat. Of course, a cowboy who has a love of the delicious grilled chicken sandwich from Zaxby's has a very special hat with a secret compartment to keep his sandwich hot until he's ready to eat it. The Grilled Chicken Sandwich Meal. Grilled chicken topped with honey mustard and lettuce on a brioche bun served with crinkle fries and a small Coca-Cola freestyle drink. Zaxby's, indescribably good. Here comes the blitz on second down. Howard stands in, throws sideline. Nice catch by Courtney Whitehead at the 47-yard line. Snap is back. Prudup wants to throw. Prudup looking. Rolls right. On the run, he's going to keep, and he is stuck by Dylan Winfrey at midfield. Prukup out of the shotgun on third and six. They need to get to the UCA 44. Prukup looking, still looking, still looking. Wants to run. Caught from behind by Woodard and dropped. Howard. Little inside screen. Catch is made by Jatavius Wilson trying to pop it outside. Gets a block at the 45. Somehow still on his feet at the 42. What a play oh, by Jatavius Wilson. They had him wrapped up, cornered in the middle of the field, and he turned it into a nine-yard game. Retreats. Throws right side. Nice catch by Des Lewis, but it's a short gain. Boy, he just reached to his right out of the air and pulled it there, but he's shy of the first down. It's going to be third and three. What a dart by Ryan yeah, Howard. He I don't got know how he picked that out of the air. Carmichael to his left. Carmichael comes in motion. Snap is back. Howard is back. Looks right. Throws right. Matthews makes the catch and goes out of bounds for the first down. First and 10 at the 20. Howard, quick toss. Matthews makes the catch. Needs to beat a man. Stiff arm. And he's going to get pulled down at That's the That's a 18. horse collar. That should be how a horse collar. He was pulled down by the back of his shoulder pad. Whitehead draws. Man-to-man -man coverage to the left side. He's looking right. Howard throws in the flat. A dart complete to Lewis at the 10. Five out of bounds. 
First and goal at the five. Bears trailing 23 to six. Howard has it. Retreats. Pressure's on. Fires. End zone. Touchdown. UCA. It's Desmond Smith. How about that? Touchdown catch number two for Desmond Smith. And Ryan Howard, the old gunslinger, wasted no time getting the ball to Smith. Crew cup to throw again. Over the middle. Tipped and almost intercepted. What? First play of the fourth quarter. Third and ten for the Bears. Going to rush four. Howard stands in, pumps it sideline, catches made for the first down by Whitehead. Howard, five-step drop, looking, guns at sideline, and nice catch by Whitehead, was losing his balance, backing up. 10-15 to play. Howard drops. Howard looks, steps up. Looks like he's going to run across the 30. Oh. Jukes a defender and slides for another first down. You heard that right. Jukes a defender <laughs> and slides for the first down. That's crafty. I like that. Howard, short drop, looks, throws right, short. Lewis, the catch at the 20, turns up field, puts his shoulder down in close to first down yardage on third and one. He's going to throw it, quick toss. Again, right side, Lewis gets a block from Desmond Smith and picks up the first down. Howard rolling right, looking lobs, end zone, Justin Dickey, touchdown, UCA, and touchdown number one for the big tight end. He's going to run it, just carries it left side. Winfrey running him down. Winfrey wrestles from the turf back at the 21. It's a loss of three. 7.32 to play. Crew cup to throw. Pressure's coming. Lobs it over the middle. Flag is down. Picked off by Odom. Picked off by Odom at the 45, and he got face masked at the 45. Snap is back. Howard is back. Howard looking right. In trouble. Just pitches it forward. Has Matthews. Catches it. 25, 20, 15. Out of bounds at the 14-yard oh, line. How many times a gain of 15? How many times have we seen Ryan Howard or Taylor Reed at the last second just flip it forward to who? Willie Matthews. No kidding. Yeah, he's been great. On second and ten. Here comes the blitz. In trouble. Steps up. Throws over the middle. Complete to Des Smith at the ten. Was that a great play? Stepped up right in front of the and defender. And then he just dives into the end zone. He says he wasn't down. And they <laughs> gave it they to him. They gave the touchdown. It oh, was a God. delayed reaction. They thought he was down at the five. Oh, my goodness. Des, all of a sudden, he was the only one who popped up, and he went in the end zone for the touchdown. We'll have to see the replay on that. I don't. They don't have replay in this league, Sully. Do you remember the South League Conference is the only league that has replay, so the, t- the touchdown is going to stand regardless. We will see a replay, and we're going to get a reaction from the crowd. Nope, kicking deep. Johnson retreats over his head, makes an over-the-shoulder catch, and runs into the end zone. Kind of an odd play. I mean, he caught the ball, and yeah. he ran from the four into... Oh, it's a safety. safety! It's a safety! Oh, my goodness! He, he made caught a it at the two and went into the end zone. Oh. I was thinking about that. Yeah, I mean, he caught... It was clearly... He ran the ball. He had possession it's of it outside. 37 to 27, and now they will kick a free kick from their 20. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Here comes the blitz. Howard stands in. Des Lewis inside screen. Makes the catch in traffic and picks up the first down at the 48-yard line. Snaps back. Howard's back. Here comes the pressure. Rolls to his left. Pitches it forward. Lewis has it. 45-40 up the sideline. Des going. 20-15. Cuts in the middle of the field. 10. Spins. 5-4. How about Des Lewis? Howard back to throw. Ryan looking. Back in the end zone. Touchdown, UCA. How That's about Watts. that, Damian Watts? That poor guy's been running patterns all day and hasn't <laughs> had a look at one. You know, in the beginning of the game, we didn't come up with enough uh, big plays. There was no momentum for us coming out. And that really hurt us. It set a tone for them coming down and scoring. And we get a stop three and out, and they go back and score. It really hurts our team. So there wasn't enough big plays from a wide receiver standpoint in the beginning for all. But we just got to make plays. I mean, it was a great atmosphere. It was the loudest. Uh, it was louder than Texas Tech. Uh, we knew it was going to be loud. Just because we I knew it was going to be loud because I went to Montana. And I expect the same noise level here as, as there is in Missoula. So, but it was, uh, you know, it was loud. It was real loud. Like I said, probably the loudest uh, we'll probably face for the rest of the year. It's a great, great atmosphere. Um, you know, this is what uh, a player wants when they come to college is playing an atmosphere like this. So it was a good experience for us, and hopefully we can learn from it. There were some mistakes that we made in the first half that uh, that put us behind the eight ball uh, and really kind of took us out of the game early. The guys fought back extremely hard uh, in the second half and uh, gave ourselves a chance to to, uh, to be competitive in the second half and, and cut the score to a point to where uh, we were a player or two away from having a chance to win the football game. So really proud of the way that the guys competed uh, and, and fought all the way through. Thing is, we need to uh, eliminate a few mistakes and the guys were able to see that on film. Uh, we left some points out there, a couple of points in the kicking game that, uh, that we could have gotten that, 
that uh, could have helped us uh, and may uh, applied a little more pressure to them, and which may have caused them to, to force a few more mistakes. So, uh, you know, I was pleased with the effort in the second half. We just didn't come out and make the plays in the first half that we needed to. You know, I thought Ryan did an outstanding job of coming in and, and uh, moving the football team, getting us on the scoreboard, and uh, you know, being able to uh, to execute, uh, especially in the in the throwing game. He did a great job of calling out the protections and did a great job of finding the uh, open receivers. Ryan made plays not only with his arm, but pulled it down and and uh, made some plays with his feet as well. So uh, I was very pleased with the way that Ryan played. You know, we we've got a uh, an explosive receiving core. We've got uh, some really good players there, and we've got some depth at receiver. Uh, you know, it's very good for Desmond Smith to step up. He had a had a great game. Uh, scored three touchdowns, and you know, Desmond did a great job of catching the ball down the field, but also did a great job with run after the catch. He made the first guy miss, and uh, showed some speed and elusiveness downfield, and uh, was able to put it in the end zone. So uh, we're very proud of the way that Desmond Smith played. You know, Courtney Whitehead caught a ball downfield. Uh, Courtney had a, a couple of big catches, and uh, especially on the deep ball coming out of the end zone, which which led to one of our scoring drives. So, you know, the receiving core, I thought, did, did a real good job of, of catching the football and then run after the catch. We go home now for two weeks. We go home for two weeks. We got a chance to get back on the track that we want to be on. And we, 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 need to, we need to have a great week of practice, and we need to get after Missouri State and, uh, and take care of business and, and even this thing back up at 2-2, two and two, and then we go into our conference schedule. Guys, I'm, I'm, I can't tell you enough uh, but you don't get a W for being proud of effort. You don't get a W for being, but I'm very, very proud of your effort. Guys, you, you, you were down by 16 uh, in a, a, a hostile, this place was louder. It was louder than Texas Tech uh, in, a, in a more hostile environment than what we played, than what we played in, uh, in, in the short time that I've been here. But you kept fighting back and you turned it into a, you turned it into a game uh, that the, where they were nervous at the end. That, that don't count for anything other than the fact that you busted your behind. You never gave up. You fought, you fought, and you fought. If you will keep doing that, I promise you the, uh, the wins will come. The wins will come. Keep doing the little things. Keep fighting. Keep scrapping. Keep clawing. And, guys, it, it, it will happen. It will happen. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. And let's get back on the winning track this coming Saturday when we get back home.